Okay, so we're installing Starlink. We got the antenna, the uh, Ethernet cable that's installed. You just pull this out and then put it in. This just clips in. Mount your wall mount on like this. Make sure you find a stud. So, easy way to find a stud. Look for the nails. Easy way to find a stud. So, make sure you put some silicone. Silicone comes with it. Put some silicone around the edges and on the top because this is going to gather water like this and it's going to want to pool up right here so make sure it's good in silicone here. Don't silicone the bottom just in case water does get in there it has a way to get out. Okay. Next up you want to make sure that this bolt on the side here is loose. That moves your uh, your clamping device on the inside. Make sure it's good and loose. Um, after you've scanned your sky, that's how you're gonna determine where this goes. But your cable goes inside of there, and it plugs in to your antenna up in here. Just keep that in mind. We're gonna take the antenna. It wants to be facing north the most, according to the instructions. That's north for me, that way. That's north. And, uh, we're going out with the old, in with the new. So we just took this off after drilling some rivets out. Out with the old. Oh, he's top heavy. Oh, don't hit the star link. Ready? Woo! Out with the old, in with the new. Okay. We got that installed. When you tighten this down, make sure you go towards you. If you're standing behind it, if you're standing in front of it, that knob's gonna want to turn this way. But if you're sit, if you're standing on the roof, it wants to go this way. There's a nut on the inside in there, so it's basically opposite. So the nut is getting pulled on the threads this way. So now that that's good and snug, we're gonna run our Ethernet cable. And we're going to go down the side of the fascia. And we're going to take the old dish off of there. And we're going to follow that down. And we're going to use the same box down there to go into the house. Okay, so you got clip, cable. Boom, it's in there. You're going to come around. Like I said, watch out for wasp nest. Come around. We're just gonna, we're gonna give a little bit of slack here so it tucks up easier. And we're just gonna screw that in right there. Okay, get the cable going down, following the edge, coming around, going down and up into this LB. This is called an LB. You should be able to get it at any hardware store. I believe it's a one inch LB. Take your Phillips head screws off and this pops off, you can go on there. That way it goes up and then in. So you'll have to drill a hole into your house. It is what it is. But if you want it permanently mounted and you want it watertight, that's what you do. Put some silicone around the edges, put some paint on it, you'll be good. Okay, so we came in the house there, went through under the basement, drill the hole here, we're going to put a little shelf up here for the router to go. And you take this thing. Ooh, cool. Yeah, cool. And you plug it in. Ooh. And then you got your power. Power. Jeez. And then you're done. Is that cool? Yeah. All right. So, I know that's not my normal my normal type of uh, footage and whatnot, but honestly... My wife said I should probably do it because she said you make everything look easy, so I made it look easy. Um, yeah, no, just try and hide your wires. That's probably your best bet, just hide your wires. It uh, makes everything look a lot cleaner. So, 
If you liked what you saw, if you don't mind hunting and like metal fabrication, maybe check out my other stuff. If you're just here to watch how to install Starlink, that's how you install it. And then go, go through the app and do the rest of the stuff. So it's easy as that.